Hello, Kylie Petucci, number one demonstrator in Australia. We are about to find out whether Facebook works again. I think I broke Facebook. I think it broke, like literally broke. I couldn't get on anywhere. Did everyone have the same problem? We'll see if we get anyone jumping on live because I don't know. Oh, good. We're getting people. How crazy was that? Did everyone have Facebook shut down or was it just here in Australia or what was the go? That was so weird. I was like messaging Bruno going, can you get on? Is it just, is it just my Facebook? Did anyone else have um, troubles getting onto Facebook or was it just me? Hi. <laughs> Good morning to you all. I kept refreshing Facebook and trying to go live and it just kept saying you don't have internet, you can't get on. Then I tried on my computer and it wouldn't let me on. Like it was saying Facebook was crashed basically. I said, Bruno, I broke Facebook. Everyone was trying to jump on live. <laughs> as if. <laughs> it's not like as if I'm Justin Bieber or something. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, it was very strange. It was just me. No, Bruno had it as well. It Maybe it was in Australia. Oh, no, you're in Australia, aren't you, Kirst? No. Anyway, there was an issue. There was definitely an issue. Oh, good. Sherry saw it too. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. And I was like, what do I do? Oh, you were having problems? Oh, good. Hopefully this doesn't crash. Hopefully it's all good because it was very, very unusual. Oh, how lovely. Enjoy the Gold Coast, Elaine. Go and visit my dad. He has a restaurant called Red and it's in Broad Beach. So you can go see it. You don't know who Justin Bieber is, Petra. <laughs> Justin Bieber would have like 10,000 followers if he went live. <laughs> I get excited when there's 25 people on here. Yay, 25 people. <laughs> oh, there's so many weird glitchy things happening with Facebook. I guess probably what's happening is we're all just using it so much and now with Facebook Live and all the things that we use on here, it's probably, oh, okay, wondering why I chose him. Okay, because Bruno has a joke. Um, Basically, when he's on Instagram, he's like, I'm just like Bieber. Look how many likes I've got. So sorry. It's a joke that Bruno always says because Bieber would always get so many you could go out and come back in, Miranda. Maybe that'll work. I'm just excited that, one, this is working, and two, I'm seeing your comments, and three, the most amazing demonstrator contacted me from the UK, Emma, and she showed me how to flip my camera without having to be connected to my computer, and I can show you things. So you're ready to see something really cool. I'll show you Bruno's card. Okay, so this is Bruno's card. As you can see, it is back to front. So let's just go over here. I'll go from this side so that then I don't block you. So we'll go over here. Are we ready for this? Hopefully I get the right one or I'll be, I'll be upside down. Did everyone just see that? Did you see those moves? <laughs> Thank you, Facebook. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Emma. It's very simple. You go to the little magic icon up the top and then you go to like the, I think it's like a little settings thing and then you do a flip. You can do vertical or horizontal. I'm not too sure why you would want a horizontal flip, but we'll give that a go too just to show you how cool that looks. Hang on, let's do that way. Hi everyone! I'm not sure why you would need your video like this. And no, don't turn your video upside down. It is just me doing a vertical flip. Um, hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> oh, I'm back again. I came off the ceiling. <laughs> it's all a bit too much fun, isn't it, really? I like trying all these new things. So thank you, Emma. I was so appreciative to you. You have no idea. This is revolutionized Facebook Live for me because it was so difficult before. 
Yes, I'm filming above. <laughs> so anyway, that's Bruno's beautiful card that he made for our blog hop with Lee Denton or Leah. I should say maybe I'm pretty sure it's Lee. I'm sorry, Lee, Leah. Bruno said Leah, I said Lee. Yeah, I'll, I'll so do a video upside down. I'll make sure that it's just like I'll just talk like as if it's normal, upside down. <clears throat> so, yes, I am a bit silly. That's how I roll. Life's too short to be too serious. And to top it off, do any of you go to clean, ready, I'll go like this, clean your craft room. Yesterday I went to clean my craft room, and I don't know if it happens to any of you, but when I start cleaning my craft room, it's like a paper anaphylactic shock kind of just happens. Like things that I had hidden away that never should have seen the light of day suddenly come out like a volcano of paper. And so the idea is to clean and then I end up with more of a mess. So that is what my my craft room is at the moment. It's the process of cleaning and the process of cleaning is mess, basically. So in the process, and I do, do not ask me how this has happened because I looked high and low. But in the process, I lost my card that I made for Lee. So fortunately, I'm making it today. <laughs> but it's gone. So I don't know if you saw it. It was the ombre, Bermuda Bay ombre one. Oh, it's such chaos, man. Crafters are such chaos. I don't tend to craft after I've cleaned as I don't want to mess it up. Well, I just stay, yeah, who cleans? You just leave it a mess and then you don't have to worry about not dirtying it. Every time Bruno comes in here, he's like, <sighs> has panic attacks. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure, Kathy. Yeah, I'd say it'll have the same settings. I'm sure it'll have that little magic wand thing. Hey, Shelly. Good to see you all. So anyway, this is one that I did last week for our tutorial bundle hop, another design team that I'm part of. And um, we do a tutorial, uh, monthly tutorial together. Isn't that stinking cute? I am loving this bundle. This is the Eastern Medallions bundle. And for those of you that haven't taken advantage, Bruno has made a kit using this. <clears throat> no, we're all messy. I actually think it's more rare to have a clean crafter than it is to have a messy crafter. I'd like to take a poll on that. Who is a clean crafter? Who's a messy crafter? And I think the messy would win. Hands down. What? Jenna, I feel for you. That's your next goal. Get a craft room. Go convert the garage. Cars, forget it. Out, outside. That's what I did in my other house. And we put just lay carpet on the ground. And it was the best. And then I put like glass doors on the front. Oh, Rick actually came here live. That's nice. Messy, messy, yeah. I think most of us are messy. Messy. <laughs> I'm yet to see a clean one. We all go boo if there's a clean person. No, no, no. It's fine if no. Um, look, Bruno would like to say he's a, he's a, a tidy crafter. Actually, he is a bit of a tidy crafter. But he, I still find things that he leaves behind. Like he he, he whinges about it. Hey, Rick, good that you came live. Nice. You see, look at it. Most of us are messy. But yeah, he still leaves stuff on the desk. Like he makes out, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> look how many messy people there are. <laughs> Maybe that's why you all relate to me. <laughs> yes, the one thing I do, and this is, this is a really strange thing, Shelley, is I clean my stamp sets. I'm very good at clean, although I say that, and look at what look what's on the desk. This is probably the first time. Yes, I clean my stamp sets. I am a shocker, Barry Crocker. But anyway, I made it for something good. So that's what I made it for. See, look at that. That was last night. <clears throat> that is the beautiful Pick a Pattern Suite. And I did these cute little flowers and then just used markers to color it in. As soon as I saw this suite in the new catalogue, I thought, this is so teenage girl, um, Gen Y, it's funky, it's fun, it's so cool. And then I've seen a um, card that 
No, we have, we share the desk and just about kill each other, Mary. <laughs> I'm like, get out of here. He's like, all right, I'm going. So we kind of have to make sure that if we craft, we craft at different times because I may have to, yeah, get in with the guillotine. <laughs> no, I would never. Terrible thing to say, Kylie. Anyway, so this is my card using the pick a pattern. So it's this one here. This stamp set here, places and pieces and patterns, sorry, is the stamp set. And I just think it is so cool and so Gen Y and so funky and fun. So if you, I noticed that in stamping up, and I've said it to a few of my girls as well, that we don't have a lot of this next generation stamping. Like the one after them, like the next, I don't know what the next one's called. Is it Millennials maybe? The millennials seem to be showing a little bit more interest, but the gen, I think gen Y and millennials are the same. But anyway, I need to know my generations. But there's the, like as if it's missed an entire generation of crafters. So this would be a really cool one to show that next generation, I think. It's quite fun and fresh and it's a new style that Stampin' Up! sort of hasn't um, done a lot of. And I'd love to see more of it. I know all of us have our different styles, but I love this kind of style. So yes, so there's those. So keep in mind, um, if you want Bruno's Eastern Medallion class, I'm pretty sure, because the postie came while we were trying to fix everything happening with Facebook, um, but I'm pretty sure all of the pre-order stuff has arrived. Bruno will be very happy, um, but it means he has a lot of work to do tonight. Chopping, love it, chop it. Uh, but he has an online class, so that will more than likely finish, I've said, till the 10th of May. So you have tomorrow to close off. So I'll put a little subscription if you want to do his class. Sadly, it's just in Australia. However, if you live overseas, you can buy just his video. It doesn't have measurements, though, and it's $5 Australian. So that would be about $0.02 cents in America. Kidding. <laughs> That's how good our dollar is. <laughs> <laughs> what did someone say? Um, million dollar earner. Yes, that's seven million in Australia. <laughs> now, random act of kindness group. Please, please, please be part of that group if you're not already. Oh my goodness, we're having so much fun over there. I'm getting my card. Sorry for leaning over you here. But I'm getting my bunch of amazing random act of kindness cards. Look at all these. I am so spoilt. But what I have noticed is that the more that you give, the more that returns. And I have noticed that. And the more that you share your cards arriving, the more that returns. So basically, the more you give, the more you get. That's how it happens. Is that how most people are seeing it happens? <gasps> I'm so excited to read that, Ellie. She chopped all her DSP. Yay! Do you know, this is a serious issue. This is a big psychological problem that we all have. And I'm really proud of you because it's really hard. What is it with us going, mm, I don't want to chop it. I'm really afraid to chop it. We've just got to chop it. We've got to go, I love you, paper. I'm going to chop you because I love you. I don't know why we are so afraid of chopping that paper. We've just got to hack into that baby. As soon as we get it, pretty much, it's like as soon as it arrives, okay, I'm cutting it because if I don't cut it now, it is going to sit on my shelf and it's no good sitting on our shelf and we can always buy more. I don't know what we're afraid of. I'm afraid of not cutting it right. Buy more. <laughs> you received your second rack card today. Yay. Good on you, Kathy. Kelly, please do it. Once you start, you won't stop, and it just changes everything. It is amazing. Like, to just cut it into, I think the best thing to do the first time you cut your paper is, <clears throat> yes, 12 by 12 freaks me out too, um, is just to cut it into card fronts and, and literally use the entire pack in one go. Make 72 cards. And you just will not believe how quickly you can put it together and how far one piece of 12 by 12 goes, or one pack, I should say, um, to get 72 cards just because you're chopping it into those sizes. To what size? In Australia, it's 10 centimetres by 14.4. I'm, I'm second guessing myself now. It's 14.8 minus 14.3, sorry. 
10 centimeters by 14.3 in the states i do have a card here i have a template because i know i'm really really bad with imperial or inches so i created cards here they are sorry i'm rummaging around yes is that it is it 5.25 by 4 is that your normal card size or is that the card front maybe yes that's the card front so that's the size that you want to cut your your dsp yes yes that's it that's the one rick yep so you want to do 10 centimeters by 14.3 for your card for your fronts because you're cutting it down so that you can stick it on a card front that size nicole yeah and then the the american size is this you did 14 point yeah look it still would work but i usually do 14.3 because it's it's basically you're taking 0.5 centimeters off in australia and in the united states you're taking a quarter of an inch off your usual size of your card front and then just chop it all down and like this is one, what's one we did recently? Oh, this one. This one's really cool. We're going to be talking this one this week. But this is what Bruno did <clears throat> for my beautiful um, customers that have ordered catalogs or are receiving catalogs and literally just cut it down and then you just add a sentiment and look at that. Yes. So it's super, super easy. But that is the best way to overcome your issue with cutting the paper, I think, is just do it all in one go. And then after that, what you can tend to do is I still do it in the card front size, but then I keep the card front size like this here. I've got a pack here that I can show you. Crazily enough, as, as messy as this room is, I can still find things. So I cut it down and then I put it in a cello bag. And then if I want to, so I have it all ready to go. And then if I want to, I can just use partial bits. So if I wanted to, I could cut this in half and then use the bottom half. Or I could cut it, cut it into strips and use it for strips. But whatever way, it's ready to go. It's ready to make cards with. Because the 12 by 12 is just, I don't know what it is. It seems too overwhelming for us to use. Whereas this size is really nice. I know we went through a bit of a phase where we did the six inch by six inch, but I always hated that little sort of piece at the end that always was left over. Um, you can still use those strips. I used it on my card here. This is the leftover strips from my Love It Chop It. So even when, even when you have the little bit left over at the end, you can still use those strips as well. So nothing gets wasted. And you can make a whole heap of cards just like this with the strips that are left over from you chopping it. Yeah. So I think someone jumped on. So in America, you would cut it at 5.25 by 4 inches for the card front. So I think if you chopped it at the 5.25, so cut it in half, and then 4, 4, 4. I think you get six six card fronts per sheet. Does that sound about right? And then in Australia, it's 10 centimetres by 14.3. That's what I cut it at. Um, so when I look at the card, for me, I, I'm usually a portrait girl, which, I mean, um, yeah, portrait. <clears throat> so depending on if you want a whole stack of portrait or a whole stack of um, landscape, you can choose which way your, your paper is folded. So with me, because I wanted... Um, portrait I made sure that I cut it at the um, what's 14.3 mark but it was facing the other direction it was facing to, away from me not towards me the the paper was actually sideways yeah does that make sense and then you you just have to use the 10 centimeter chops because then it'll be yeah and you can mix it like Ellie says yeah so, I mean, the best way to do it is just try it on one piece of paper. If you're really worried, you're still going to get, like, if you chop it wrong, it's okay. You're still going to get a lot of use out of it. Like, you can see with my card, 
I've still been able to utilize little scraps of pieces of piece of paper so if you chop it wrong all good just use it for something else think of another design that you can use it for but once you know exactly what you're cutting and how to cut it then you're free you have freedom you have chopping paper freedom you are out of no chopping paper prison because <laughs> we do we're in a prison we're like not cutting this beautiful paper and then not using it to its full potential and look at these beautiful cards I'm gonna lift them up because they're just amazing like look at all this like why would we want to keep all of this in our cupboard why look how beautiful it is it's so pretty on a card and now we will make someone's day look at that stinking adorable like the best thing ever so just get your paper no one can ever say I don't have time to make cards because these cards are literally cut paper put a sentiment so I think I showed that Tina that's the strips left over on that card so they're the strips that were left over from this pack so literally every bit of this paper pack got used <laughs> nothing was wasted so yeah there you go and you could literally just do like the whole thing in strips even or what I have done is use little note cards and then just done three strips on a little note card and it's the perfect little note card and you just put a sentiment on that as well and it's perfect just to send someone a, a little I'm thinking of you look at the inside I always forget to show you guys the inside so cute yeah so right down those sides I should actually put both of them here so five and a quarter by four inch and in Australia or I think the UK use it as well 10 centimeters by 14.3 centimeters so you're taking a quarter of an inch off the metric one and 0.5 off the Australian one yeah and I used to do the same thing Janet I would chop it in six by six but then I found by doing it this way I actually get one more card front like I'm getting because the two bits that are missing on the six by six that makes a whole card front and so I was wasting that whole strip in the middle for my card front whereas this doesn't waste like all you're getting is that little strip and then I'm able to use that strip really easily so whereas on the six by six I'd cut it at 10 centimeters and I'd have this weird size left over and I was wasting it and we don't want to waste it so then we don't use it and then we don't chop it because we're so scared of wasting it and it becomes this cycle yes our issues we have issues don't we where do these issues come from we'll blame our parents it's you mum and dad <laughs> it's just the easiest thing to do isn't it <laughs> yes so yeah as soon as you get your paper that to me is the best thing I do personally but it's up to you oh that's no good Shelly we don't like that you might have to come back and watch the recording so I've got some more rack cards here to share with you did I show you any rack cards I went completely on a tangent didn't I anyway yes I did <laughs> shocked <laughs> uh, Lucas I'm not sure you're here for stamping goodbye <laughs> you just tap on it if anyone annoys you on a Facebook live you just tap on it and say goodbye so this one here is from Lisa there you go Lisa amazing so I I'm not I'm going to probably murder your surname I'm sorry Lisa Ruthus I'm going to say R-E-T-H-U-S I'll go for Ruthus and Lisa is from Horsham in Victoria yeah we have to say goodbye apparently I missed it last week I'm so spewing I missed it too but apparently someone was calling me Cleopatra and saying you're so beautiful I'm really spewing I missed those comments I would have had a lot of fun with that Cleopatra and he goes I'm gonna call you Cleo <laughs> so random why would you get on a Facebook live and say that <laughs> yes Jessie loves rack off She's so naughty, that girl. Jessie's my assistant, in case you don't know. Jessie got some random act of kindness cards this week, and seriously, I think she was going to cry. <laughs> she was, like, so touched. 
Oh, you, you missed my admirer. Yes, he was calling me Cleo. I could have had a lot of fun with that. Maybe it was a good thing I didn't see those comments. But uh, Lisa said that, thanks so much for your creativity, allowing me to join your Random Act of Kindness group. I get so much inspiration from your blog, Facebook page, Facebook live broadcast, and I hope this card brightens your day. You are amazing. Thank you so much, Lisa. I love those beautiful words. I'm such a words girl. Some people are like, oh, can't handle words. I love words. They make me really warm and fuzzy on the inside. Everyone's different, aren't they? So I liked my secret admirer calling me Cleo. <laughs> Diane gave me this beautiful one. <clears throat> Diane Blackney. And she's from Inverell in Victoria. Isn't it cool being able to see this the right way round? I'm so excited by that. Ooh. Do you love those um, faceted gems? Aren't they stunning? I absolutely adore them. You're going to love them. They come out the 1st of June. Or if you're a demonstrator, you can get them now on the pre-order. So this one was beautiful. Um, Diane said pretty much the same thing, that she's loving the Random Act of Kindness group. And she's obviously sent out a few um, a few of these because she had a little printout and just said um, that she wanted to make this card especially for you um, and hoping that it brightens your day. And caused you to smile. Hi, Tracy. So yes, I loved that. I thought that's so true because we all we all need some encouragement. We need some. Oh, I'm so glad, Sarah. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I'm a bit nutty, but you know, keeping it real. Hashtag keep it real. This is who I am. Luck it or lump it. <laughs> I've got to have fun, right? This was Michelle Casper. She is also from. Victoria. I'm getting a lot of Victoria cards. It's so nice. So this one was beautiful. Isn't those little bug eyes the most adorable thing you've ever seen? She used rhinestones on there. <laughs> I thought it was really cute. So now the little dragonfly feels like he's alive now. Thank you, Michelle. And I love the little snippets of the doilies on each side too. Beautiful use of uh, Love It, Chop It. As you can see, Michelle's done it. And she's done it a little bit smaller. So that's another option. You could cut it even smaller again. But I think the little dimensions that I gave you is a good start. Yes, I agree, Tim. It is a great card. Is Tim going to start calling me Cleopatra or does he genuinely love cards? Because Bruno like, genuinely loves card making. So there's nothing wrong with that. What I love about this one, so this is from uh, Marion, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. Oh, no, this is from Jenny Turnbull. So this was Jenny's card using the beautiful U stamp set. <clears throat> and I think it might be a bit of gorgeous grunge around the side. But what I love about um, Jenny's card is that's where we normally write. And <laughs> Jenny must have had it this way. And then, yeah, we've all done this, Jenny. We have all done this. This is some. But what I love about Jenny's card is Jenny owned it. Jenny owned it and she sent it anyway. And you know what she said? She said, do you like that my lady is doing yoga? <laughs> She's upside down. And she said, yes, my husband looked at it and said she must be doing yoga. So I love that. I think that's hashtag keeping it real, Jenny. We haven't got time for redoing cards because of a mistake. We just own it and come up with some amazing idea. We've all done it. We've all stuck it down the wrong way, but I love that she sent it. It gave me even more of a smile. <laughs> I was like, what's going... Oh, yes, I know what's happening here. Good on you, Jenny. I love that you sent that. <laughs> this is from Terry, <clears throat> and this is from Canada, this one. Another great use of Love It, Chop It. And as you can see, the way that it's been cut, you could do the exact same thing <clears throat> with your pre-cut papers. And just cut up two of them and do different sizes and then just stick it on like this. Love it, chop it. So simple but so effective. I love your card, Terry. Thank you very much for that. Now, washi tape is the bomb. We all love washi. And Pammy has done a brilliant job showing how versatile washi is. But this is also amazing because you could do the same thing with the strips that are left over from your love it choppets so here's your strips look I've, I've cut a bit of strip and stuck it there but you could literally just do the same thing with all your strips just as simple as that strips 
Strips galore. You will have lots of them. Not stripping, no stripping, just strips of paper. Yeah. Excellent. So that's a great idea, Pammy. And you can see it looks brilliant. Simple, effective, really good. So thank you, Pammy. Uh, this was from Michelle. I'm going to say sour wooled. Hopefully I got it right. I don't even know where Michelle's from. I didn't keep that um, envelope. But this, oh, your five seconds of fame. Yay, Pammy. You're famous. You're always famous, Pammy. We've all got our own thing, huh? Isn't this gorgeous? Another idea for love it, top it. Have one layer. Then cut a little bit of the other one and layer it on top. So see how when you have your pre-cut ones, it just makes things like this so much easier to do. And then you're not stressing about wasting because you could just cut this in half and then use it on two sheets and use it straight away. And then you, you don't feel like you're wasting anything. It's being utilized well. Brilliant. Love that idea. It was Michelle, wasn't it? Yes. Thanks, Michelle. And she got, oh, she said she made this at a class run by her gorgeous friend and Stampin' Up! consultant, Shari Haynes. So hopefully, this might be Shari's design, actually, or maybe she cased it from someone else. I'm not too sure. Yes, I know. I'm glad Facebook was down for you. I, I felt like my legs were chopped off. I couldn't go live. I was like, what do I do? Facebook owns me. <laughs> I can't do my business if Facebook collapses. So I was thinking, maybe I'll go over to YouTube and go live there. <laughs> There's always a way around, right? There's always a workaround. <laughs> uh, so this is from the beautiful Amanda Higgins. I may have shown this last week, but I just want to show it again because it's so stinking cute. And I'm pretty sure this, this cute critter, he's retiring. So get your hands on him before he goes. And Amanda had some beautiful words, and she also sent one to Bruno, too. Do I have Bruno's ones here? Maybe not. He's probably put it up. Oh, yes, I do have Bruno's one. Here it is here. And this is another great way of using your designer series paper. She's chopped up. And it's amazing. Like that said, I looked at it and said teenage girl. <clears throat> but you can see here that it's got these really, like, masculine characters, but still a lot of fun and colourful so it's brilliant. I love that. I love the background too. It's the wood grain. So really nice job, Amanda. You're super talented. Keep being amazing because I love your card making. It's beautiful. Apply for artisan, all right? Now, what else do we have here? I think this one here, this one's beautiful. It's the Easter medallion. Yes, this is Marion. <clears throat> Look at this stunning, stunning card. You've done an incredible job, Marion. She's got her, is it a faceted gem? No. Oh, it's one of the metallic, um, what are they called? Oh, it's gone out of my brain. But anyway, yes, masculine doesn't mean you have to not use colour. I think that's a really important um, tip that Amanda's given us here. You can still make a card masculine and fun and not have to use brown, black, yeah, it's a really, really good tip, that one. Yes, keep applying, everyone. You just never know. Yes, metallic shapes. Thank you, Lisa. Enamel shapes. Enamel metallic shapes. Oh, we were just talking about you, Bruno. I was just showing them your gorgeous Amanda Higgins card and saying that to make a masculine card, you don't have to just use neutrals. Did you notice in the background? Did you see this new setup just here with my paper? This is Bruno's idea. <clears throat> He's always coming in and rearranging my room. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't like it. This one is one of them that I'm going to test. Uh, but so far, I really like it. It's feeling more... I'm feeling more organised. And I like that it's got, like, the shelving below. Do you like that? Yes. I did. I changed it. And it's created, like, an absolute mess. The artisan applications, I'm pretty sure, open... Today. Today or tomorrow. I think it's the 10th or the 9th. But I did see it online somewhere because I was looking for my girls because there's a lot of the um, the crazy crafters that would be incredible. Yeah, he's very good at rearranging. Although 
yeah, that was the cause of the anaphylactic shock in my room because I started moving them around. Then I started undoing paper and then tidying. Yes, May the 9th. Thank you very much, Julie. Simon Hester's here. Hi, Simon Hester. I've got all the boys joining us today, Rick and Tim and Bruno and Simon. It's all happening. I'm going to turn you all into crafters. This is my new um, marketing is to get these men into card making. <clears throat> How do I send you a card? Oh, that'd be nice, Sarah. Come and join our Random Act of Kindness group and you can send me and hundreds of other people cards too because we all love it. Are you in our Random Act of Kindness group? We've got a little document there with all our addresses. So you can join that. Yes, Bruno's very good. He's a good, good, um, good one at doing storage solutions. Maybe that can be his other job. Come and organise all these lovely ladies craft rooms and do their storage for them. <laughs> You'll have to come and join Sarah. We'll put the link up when I finish <clears throat> or someone can put it up now and you can go, go and request to join. Um, so this one was from Fiona Whitehead. Fiona is, I'm pretty sure Fiona is UK. Yes, May the 9th. It is here in Australia. It's May the 9th. Yes, I could hire him out. Yes, I'll keep him in a job. He can come and tidy up our craft rooms for us. And starting here, I'll pay you, Bruno. <laughs> this was Amy from New Zealand that sent this one. <clears throat> yes, be careful of your dimensionals. He will steal you. Yes, you are one of those rare uh, demonstrators, male demonstrators, Rick. It's very true. And we love you, you male demonstrators, because you give us a new dimension and a new idea on card making. I love that. Bruno's ideas are very different to the way that I would ever think. So when I have a chopping session, do I use my SU trimmer? <laughs> do you like the way I laugh then? I shouldn't laugh. You should see my trimmer, Mary. Seriously, it is probably half of my body. It is the most full-on industrial trimmer you have ever seen. If my craft room wasn't a mess, I would turn around and show you. And there is no way I can pick it up off the bench because it probably weighs 30 kilos. <laughs> it's like the most ginormous thing. And the blade, the, the blade is like, yeah, it's ridiculous. I need a chopping machine. Maybe one day I can invest in a laser cutter. That'd be the fun one. I'd like one of them. I don't know, Bruno, how many pages can it cut? I think we usually cut, I think the other day, yeah, own the mess. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I will ignore the mess. <laughs> it's seriously bad. All right, I'll show you. I've got to own it. I've got to own it. It's true. It's part of therapy. That's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> you ready? <clears throat> okay, here we go. Three packs, it's more than three packs. <clears throat> so, here is the trimmer. And there is the chaos. So it's it's actually ginormous, but you don't have a blade that comes up, not like this one here. I don't I don't I rarely use that one. This one's the one I use. Look at that chaos. It is a paper anaphylactic shock. Oh, it is a mess. That's craziness. And look over there, the printer. There's paper there too. Yeah, it is back to front. Is it playing with your head, Bruno? I'll do a vertical flip. There we go. Now it'll play with everyone else's head. <clears throat> but I'm very happy with that. Really happy with that. Yeah, I got it off eBay. It wasn't actually that expensive, but it's not... It's not perfect. Yes. <laughs> well, Jessie's hopefully coming tomorrow so she can do a bit of a tardy tardy. <laughs> but yes, that's my cutter. So you basically have to, to get it, the paper in, you have to wind it in and secure it. And then you use this big long handle here to bring down the blade, which is inside here. So that is my mega chopper. So sorry to laugh at you, Mary, but <laughs> <clears throat> that's what um, that's what I'm thinking. No, 
<clears throat> it's not a Stampin' Up! trimmer. That would not cut the mustard. I'd have to do one sheet at a time. And I'm doing, I think I, the most I got was three packs of the stacks. Three or four in one go. <clears throat> yes, it's a massive chopper. But it's really safe and, yeah, it's very. it would be very difficult to chop your hands. But it's, it's very hardcore. I need hardcore for my lover to chop it. And I've got all my paper shares that I've started today. I'll put a link up for my paper shares. I'm opening it to demonstrators as well because <clears throat> I know there's a lot of demonstrators that like collecting the whole lot because we are collectors. We love collecting. Um, so I've opened that up. Bruno was very, very good. He did my – and I'm very happy with my paper too. Yes, I love it. It's a good – it's one of Bruno's good picks. So thank you, Bruno. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, two days to do all your paper. Wow. So yeah, we've done paper shares and I'm opening it to demos, but the one thing I do request if you're a demonstrator or even if you're a customer and you're buying from a demonstrator, please go to your demonstrator first before you sign up for me. Um, just to be fair, it's just a nice thing to do, um, particularly <coughs> frog in the throat. <coughs> it's my coffee from this morning. Yes, particularly if you are a demonstrator and you have a team leader, just go and ask them first. If they're not offering it, then you can come back. But um, yeah, it's just good to check with them first. I don't want to be accused of any poaching. No poaching here. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Like, I know it happens to me too, and that's just life. People choose other people and they go everywhere. But sometimes demonstrators and Customers don't realise that their, their demonstrator has worked very hard um, at keeping them as a customer and looking after them. They've invested. So, yes, please go to your demonstrator first. And if they're not offering it, let them know that what you're wanting to do and they may be able to create it. They might go, well, you know what? I'll just ask a few other people. If we can get four people, then I'll do it for you. So, could be an option. You might open up their horizon. They might try something new for you. So this one was from Pam. It's got Pam L. And I don't know why I haven't written down Pam's last name. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mary. You're the best. Another rotate. Ready? Bing. Very good. Just like that. Ping. <laughs> yes we're on the right side now the the sentiments are the right way round <laughs> no I'm not the Benz of Stampin' Up! demonstrators there's amazing Stampin' Up! demonstrators who else is here? <laughs> is it one of your workmates Bruno? craziness all these people watching me I think even my dad saw one of my videos and that's just weird I don't want my dad watching my videos Matt Kinney, <laughs> what are you doing here? Talking about artists, Matt Kinney is an artist. He's the most amazing photographer ever. And this was from Tracy. Hoping your day is perfect. Thanks, Tracy. And that is all my rack cards for one week. <sighs> one week. You're all so generous. You're so kind to me. Seriously, it overwhelms me going to the to the mailbox. Petra knows Matt too. <laughs> See, Matt, you're famous. <laughs> so it's very exciting. From Timor Leste Day, and who thought you probably have better internet than us over there? Some people wouldn't even know where that is. So we should should we do a little bit of crafting? Do we have time? Yes. What time is it? Oh yeah. I don't go live till 1:30. And Facebook mucked up on us, so let's do a little bit of crafting because, you know, I'm vibing it. And because I've lost my other card, <gasps> I think I've just found it on the floor. Hang on, one minute. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was a different card. <laughs> oh, man alive. Bruno, did you take my card? Where did you put my card? I'm going to blame you because Jessie's not here, so I normally blame Jessie. I seriously have no idea where that card went. But anyway, let's make it. Let's let's love it, chop it. Hang on. 
I'm going to flip you over. I'm just covering it so you don't get dizzy. Bella, it's so Bella. You're probably right, Sandra. She ate it. Ta -da! Is it okay? Yes. Oh, it's a bit wonky. Now I have to swap it the other way. Flip. Yay. Is everything the right way now? I think so. So we are going to play with flourishing phrases. I have, we're going to do some um, emboss resist. This is an oldie but a, but a goodie. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do a bit of an ombre look. So you can't even see what I'm doing. I don't even have my prototype because I lost my prototype. Can't believe it disappeared. You should have seen me. I was like throwing everything around, trying to find it. My only concern was that this was not chopped right, but that looks good. So that's good. I'm doing a bit of smoky slate too. So I'm going to get this one out because it was really pretty. And all I did was, I'm going to open this as well for a bit more light. Give me light. But not too much light. Oh, that's a bit too much. Oh no, that's all right. Oh no, that's that's terrible. Terrible light. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Where were we? As we were. Hashtag keeping it real. If you want um, perfection and if you want like everything to look amazingly perfect, you're in the wrong place. Because <laughs> you know how it is around here. So I'm using my Versamark to ink that up. I always like for the bigger ones to go the other way around. Like don't stamp your ink pad into this. Stamp the Versamark onto your stamp. Did I just say ink pad onto this? I meant stamp. Just ignore me. Okay. Now, we've got our little embossing buddy friend just to take off all the static. Does everyone make sure that they do this every time? It does actually make a difference. I know that you probably think it's a gimmick, but it really is not. So we'll stamp once on that side. And then we'll do it another side. Oh, good idea, Petra. Is it 10% off? Oh, of course. Yes, because in the new catalogue, it won't be a bundle anymore. It's a beautiful bundle. Even the framelits, I get a lot of use out of the framelits. And they're kind of um, completely different too. I just realised I'm not... Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. What do you get frustrated with, Sandra? Is it a bundle in the new catalogue or not? I don't think it is. I think all the bundles no longer a bundles after the new caddy. Yeah, I love this bundle too. So I'm just doing Whisper White. So this is the Versamark and then the Whisper White. Oh, what is this? What is this thing here? Get out of there. And this is Whisper White. <clears throat> we don't have the Stampin' Up! trays anymore that you can see underneath me. I'm using, I'm using dodgy product that doesn't exist. But you can just as easily use a piece of paper. You got it when you joined. Oh, that's good. Oh, I've put a mark there, but that's okay. We're covering that. Oh, it's from my finger. <laughs> Look at the finger. It's from my nail polish. Note to self, don't flick with nail polish. Black nail polish on. <laughs> now, make sure you move away your powder from when you decide to do the heat gun because there'd be nothing worse than heat gunning all your powder. And so what you're looking for is the change. You'll see the change in the powder. Oh, there we go. Boom! So everyone remember the first time they used embossing? It was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Yay, Carrie! Good timing, I've just started crafting. 
I had so many random act of kindness cards to share with everyone. I had to give everyone their five minutes of fame. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's so good watching it change. It is, it's so beautiful. You don't have a heat tool. Oh my goodness, you need the heat tool, Christy. I'm a bit naughty. I'm, I'm doing this in a hurry, so I'm like totally doing what you shouldn't do which is basically burning the crisp out of my um, my cardstock. I'll show you what it does by not putting it on a low, low temperature. You ready? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's all bowed. But anyway, I'll just flatten it while it's heated. <laughs> Do a little bit of, you know, manipulation and bending. <laughs> just pretend you're flat, little card. Pretend you're flat. Okay, so I have three colours for you that we're going to do as our little ombre. And the exciting part about these three colours, oh, there's a bit of my hair that's just fallen out, as you do. That wasn't there, you didn't see that at all. So it's our three new ink colours, Powder Pink, Berry Burst and Fresh Fig. So... I am really looking forward to seeing what this look like looks like. I have not tested this, you know, in typical Kylie fashion. Kylie is winging it. So I'm going to start with light this side. <clears throat> oh, it's actually surprising how dark the powder pink is. I love the circular motion. And you'll notice with, with the daubers that I, um, yes, this is the flourishing phrases. I do a little bit of a dab off just so that it's not too intense when you come in because if you don't sort of dab off, you can leave like a big mark that doesn't look very um, smooth. It looks like a bit of a mistake. That's my little tip anyway. And then just doing it in the circular motion helps too. So now I'm coming in with the Berry Burst with my new dauber. Now this is going to be quite strong, this one. Yes. So I might even have to stamp off a bit more. Anyway, we'll just layer over the top. Good. Yeah, I'm glad a few things are staying, but there's so much that isn't. So much going. So you can see that big blobby bit there. I could have taken a little bit off that. But anyway, I can come back in and just sort of smooth it out a bit, make it look like it's meant to be there. And then the last colour is the Fresh Fig. Now, it looks like a, a globby mess at the moment, but you'll see when it all comes together... This is going to be really dark, this one. So I've just taken a fair bit off this one. Yeah, the new catalogue is going to be beautiful. Love, love, love. And I'm pretty sure that it is sitting at my front door, which is really exciting. Now, I'm a bit naughty and I don't have any tissues in here. Why do I not have tissues in here? Because that would be too clever. So do not do what I'm doing now, but I'm using a nappy wipe to take this off. <laughs> but anyway, it needs to be removed. It might give it a new look. This is the sponging nappy. Oh, look at this. I think I've just invented a new technique. I'm just going to do that over here as well. I'm just going to blend that in there. I totally, yeah, I totally meant to do this, people. Because, you know, that's how I roll. <laughs> Look at that. Look how cool that looks. 
what should we call this? The nappy wipe smushing. It's kind of smushing, but it's kind of not. Anyway, it's the sponging, sponging nappy wipe push. <laughs> and then we're going to come in with this. Check this out. Look how amazing this looks. You know what? I like that, but I think it could be better. I am vibing some of this new fresh fig. Let's look at all of them. Because, yeah, this is how I roll. <gasps> There's no fresh fig left. That's right. Bruno used it all for his cards. We'll have a look at these two then. I mean, I do like that. But that's with the... That's a little bit... Close the inks. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. That one, me. For you, Bruno, anything. I would love to close the inks for you. There you go. Yeah, next, it needs to take a chill pill. Go have a chill pill, Bruno. There you go. You're happy now, my lovely husband. You can breathe now. So, I've just chopped up this. I'm just going to do one at three and a half centimetres. And then the other one I'll do at two centimetres. And we'll see how that looks. Are we ready? <laughs> You're with Bruno. Hey, these new inks are too inky anyway. They need to breathe. What do we think of that? Ooh, I've got an even better idea. I'm going to take a little tiny bit off both of these. And I've thought of something. One, two. It's always a worry when I'm thinking of things mid-video. But, you know, that's how I kind of roll. Keep it real. So we need one, two, three point five, and then a bit less. All right. So this is my idea. Let's see how we go with this. So what I'm thinking is gluing that there. That would look pretty cool with the um, fresh fig too, and then gluing that on there. Oh, I've got the wrong way around. I'm like, why is that showing now? Oh, that's good. I'm glad you like those. Ooh, look at this. How's that, everyone? Ooh, even gold would be beautiful too. I'm loving that. I think it'd be even nicer, actually, with the powder pink. <laughs> this is me. This is... This is literally me creating on the spot. <laughs> so I'll do that. Let's have a look at that one. So that's with smoky slate background. But let's do it with the powder pink. What does everyone think? Do you like the powder pink or the smoky? It would look nice with the fresh fig, but, you know, Bruno's kind of taken that away from me. <laughs> I actually don't mind either, but, yeah, that one's nice as well. You like the smoky, do you, Jods? Yeah, I think I like the smoky. Oh, you like the smoky. All right, I'm going to leave it as smoky then. Oh, Kerry likes powder. I'll have to do another one. Pink, smoky, pink, smoky. Isn't it funny how we're all different? <laughs> I'll do smoky because it is more me. I am more of a smoky slate girl than I am a pink girl. Now, a disaster happened uh, this week, literally a couple of days ago because Bruno was doing all of those amazing cards because he's such a good husband. But we ran out of glue. So I haven't been coping. I've had to use tape. <laughs> And it's so weird using tape. Fortunately, there's only a tiny little tape required here. 
but um, yes, it did my head in. I was like, look, well, even now I'm like, oh, I can't glue. Brunette said you can use one sheet. Oh, that's all right. I'm done now. I've I've locked it locked it in. Thanks, Mary. You're very helpful, Mary. Okay, so there's one done. I do like it with this berry burst, but all of you can try it with um, different color combos. But I like even the um, the nappy white. It did, Bruno. It's at the front door. It came just as I was about to start, and I thought, oh, do I bring all the pre-order in? I'm like, I've already planned this beautiful class. This class would have to go by the wayside if I brought all that in. I don't know why that's a little bit longer, but anyway, I'll see which one, whether it's the smoky that's wrong or the, yeah, it's the berry burst that's a bit over. I'll just do a little bit of snipping because it's only a little tiny bit. I could get my um my guillotine and do it properly. That would probably be a better thing to do. But anyway, you get the idea. And there was a little bit on this edge too. And then I'm just going to come in with, oh, do we want it that way or do we want, no, I like it in. I like it like that. I think it frames the the image very well. Now, do I have the strips? Oh, actually, I'll use some of these up because this is a good little tip for you all. Bruno decides he's going to use all of... Yes, no glue. It's killing me, Julie. I've run out. It's at the door. I should have actually gone and opened it just for the glue. But make sure that you use all of your dimensionals up including these bits they're so good it feels like it's a freebie because most people would probably chuck that out but then you can get a really good strip of look it's good for the longer bits like that and like this so I feel like I'm not being as wasteful even though it's probably just as wasteful <laughs> and then I've got a little bit here that will just do the other sides. Some might. I definitely don't chuck mine out. Does anyone else chuck theirs out? Look at that, Bruno. I used it. Isn't that a good idea? He's always making fun of me. I can make fun back. <laughs> Some might just not think of using it or think, you know, what can I use it for, maybe? I don't know. So I'm going to stick that down and cover up my black nail polish underneath there. No one will even know except people that have watched this video. Oh, that's good. You don't throw it out, Laurie? Hello, we've got so many of these. Look at this. Look how many he has used and not used the edges huh look at it Bruno what is this Bruno you can't you have to finish the pack before you open a new one <laughs> it's so fun I sound like a nagging wife <laughs> now one thing I forgot to do which is a bit dumb of me I forgot to stare <laughs> Why didn't any of you remind me? Seriously, what are you here for? So this is where I go, you know what, I'm not going to pull it off. Although I could probably pull it off. No, I won't attempt it. I'm going to glue on top <laughs> another piece that we can stamp. So let's see here. Do that. Hopefully I get it the right measurement. Yes, that looks about right. Mm, looks a bit bigger. Yes, he's naughty. Very, very naughty. That one looks bigger too. 
But anyway, we'll try, we'll attempt this. Where's my trimmer? Here it is. Because when I get to the smaller bits of the guillotine, I can't, um, it doesn't chop as well. So I'm just having a look. Ah, so I did it at 3 point. I was cutting it at 3.5, but it looks like it's just over like 3.2 or something. That's 3. Yes. Boy, that looks like a lot taken off. I don't want to go that far, maybe. Let's go there. Yep, that looks good. Okay. We're back in business. Now, I wanted to do this one as a congratulations one. So I'm using the same stamp set. Punch it out, yeah. <laughs> I, I like the look of this though. I want it to stay on the card. I like, um, cause yeah, that's the way it was on my other one too. Cause I find that when, and has anyone found that there's not a whole lot of punches? In this new catalogue I'm actually a little bit um, lost at the moment for sentiment cutouts see you Petra thanks for joining us the skinny banner framelit Ooh, that would be nice too late now thanks for the suggestion Bruno use my grid paper well, that feels like it's got something on there. I'll, I'll flip that over just in case. Now, you noticed it too, Sandra. I was a bit sad by that. I was like, oh, I don't really have sentiments and things that I can use, like the um, die cuts. Hopefully that's all right. And we'll get some more embossing powder and really make this pop by doing it in white the whisper white I won't be flicking this just in case see even though I did my pillow it still had a few I can flip it on the back actually because that's all right okay that's good and then I'll emboss this and then stick that down I'll use the heavy duty one. Oh, I'm over the top of my powder. Moving that away. Don't ask me how I know. No, actually, I never have actually wrecked my powder. The powder lasts for ages. Yeah, move the move the powder. Get it out of there. It's all okay. He's happy. Now, doesn't that look amazing? See, aren't you glad I decided to continue with my idea? Oh, I better have a refill or I will be spewing. Do I have another one here? Empty. <laughs> this would be so funny. Literally out of tape, ink, I mean tape and... Have we got fast fuse in here? No. Fast fuse in here? No. Look at this. Ready? <laughs> oh, gold. That's too funny. I think I've got some tear and tape, maybe. <laughs> Empty. <laughs> Empty. <laughs> oh my goodness who would have thought who would have thought I would run out of ink out of tape ever fortunately I have some tear and tape <laughs> oh too funny <laughs> who got all these here <laughs> Funny, you gotta laugh. <laughs> Do you like that, Ellen? <laughs> You've got to keep these, Tim. 
you refill them. <laughs> Tim is clearly an avid crafter. <laughs> you buy it by the dozen. Oh, that's cool. You cannot you cannot throw these away. <laughs> Tear and tape to the rescue. Yay! It's so true, Barbara. It's like I'm using every last bit of um, resource I have in this room. Oh, check that out. <laughs> Isn't that stunza? Do you love it? I really love it. I'm like wanting to stick some dimensionals or something on there, but I, I mean some... Um, some of the rhinestones, but I'm like, no, no, leave it as it is because it's so pretty. I do have these. Should I put it on a couple of these little bits here? Would that be, we can just test it. We'll just test it, huh? We'll grab some of these with my um, trusty snips. And I always like to work in odds. So if we do three to start with, one, two, and we'll do one up the top over there on the end. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Pearls, you like the pearls. I'm going for the bling. Bling, 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 bling. But yes, it would look stunning with pearls too. Ta-da! Yes, rotation of stock. But you could even bling it up more and put more. But I'll stick with three. Three or five, I reckon, would be maximum for me. But everyone's different. So I'm really happy that I did that today and I've continued pushing through. I really like the look of this, this bit here just by using... Isn't it funny? Just by using the... Um, nappy white it's sort of um pushed over the ink over the top and i really love that look i think it it just blends it in really nicely it's amazing what you can do when you're on the fly so this is the australian size uh we have uh a6 we call it a6 size or yes a6 why am i second guessing yes a6 um, so we cut our paper at A5 size, which is half of A4. Oh, hi, Margaret. I'm so glad. It'd be awful if you thought my laugh was annoying. <laughs> it's like, what? She's so annoying, man. <laughs> so yes, it's our it's our Australian size. We have a we have a different size to the rest of the world, I think. The UK has this size as well, using A4. Um, but, yes, this is our one. Yeah, I'm very happy with that card. I'm glad with, with how it turned out. Thank you for all your suggestions with the layers, whether we used powdered pink or the smoky. I really like the smoky. And I think it would look even more fabulous with the fresh fig behind. You could do that as well. But, um, yes, our beautiful new colours, Powder Pink, Berry Burst, and Fresh Fig. Awesome. I'm going to flip you around now. Oh, thanks, Sherry. All right. Michelle's going to jump on and be like, why is there a black screen? Hello there. Nice to see you again. Sorry, I'm glowing because I lifted up the, um, good night, Sarah. Hope you join our random act of kindness group. Be great to see you there. Um, yes, so today was wonderful. Thank you all very much. I'm glad I got to test out my flipping. I don't know if you noticed, um, my hair's looking very nice and done. I washed it this morning, but I also used, uh, a new new gift that Bruno gave me. Thank you, Bruno. It's a brush that straightens your hair. Yes, it has little prongs at the end and it straightened my hair. I'm very happy with it, Bruno. Good job. I like your presence. Ah, oh, Louise Sharp's here. I know. Yes, it worked beautifully. 
I don't know if you're saying that about my hair or the card. <laughs> I just want to show the card one more time the right way around. This is what you missed, Louise. This amazing card making here. And it happened with no glitches. I just did the whole thing perfectly. I did not run out of any tape. Yeah, I didn't run out of tissues and find a new technique. No, no, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> that's when I know Louise likes it. Burn that card, put it in the bin, send it to Louise, chop it up. Should I chop it? Do you want me to chop it, Louise? I can chop it if you like. <laughs> I'll send that to someone in the Random Act of Kindness group. Do you like my hair? Did you hear what I said? Bruno bought me a new straightener. Yes, it's a it's a brush straightener. He got it from Catch of the Day. Because that's what kind of husband. With a Pandora charm, too. <laughs> I know. He looks after me, that boy. He might whinge every now and then about me leaving inks open, but I can deal with that. <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful crafting day. I only have... <laughs> I knew that would scare someone. <laughs> You're like, don't... No, don't cut it. <laughs> uh, I'm starting live over on my business page in... Can someone tell me? 24 minutes? 24 minutes. And today is really good. It's how to sell without sounding salesy. Because we're all worried about that, I think. We all are like, oh, no, no, I don't want to sell because I don't want to be one of those people. So I think there's some really nice tips that can help us to overcome those fears. So thank you for joining me. 25 minutes now, is it? Okay, 25 minutes now. <laughs> uh, 23 minutes, according to my clock. <laughs> So have a lovely day, have a lovely week. Um, lots and lots of exciting things happening this week for us. I've got my my to-do list here. Ta -da! <laughs> it's like the biggest week ever. But I've got, uh, tomorrow we have the international highlights that I run. We have our top 10 blog hop tomorrow. Uh, over at Aim for Alaska, we've got an amazing talk by Dana Raquel. On Thursday, we're dog-sitting, Bruno's mum and dad's dog. And we have the Be Inspired blog hop. And also, I'm with the Stamp to Share design team as well. I'll put a link up for you, Nicole. I'll put it up here as well. And then Friday is a busy day. But going into the city and having a little bit of a downtime and then preparing for my family to come on Saturday to see our new house. You know what it's like. We get busy. So they're coming for lunch. I think we have 11 people coming for lunch on Saturday. And then we're going to a formal dinner on Saturday night. So I can use my new straightener brush for that and zhuzh myself up. Jesse and I are going to that formal dinner. So we have lots of fun, and then Sunday's just as busy. Learning Hindi, all the rest of it. Lots of things happening. Thank you very much, Sarah. Yes, we need to create. And the one for Be Inspired this week is your favourite colour combo. Hmm, I wonder what colours I'm going to use. It's actually very hard at the moment. There's lots of different things. Yes, I should have a bite to eat too, Jenna. It's a very good idea. So we'll see you all soon, hopefully. And if you're looking for a demonstrator, you live in Australia, I would love to help you. Ask me any question you like. If you have, yeah, anything you need to know about Stampin' Up, what it's about, I'm here. And thank you all for your support and watching my creating today. See you soon. Have a great week. Bye.